Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jesus, guys. We just picked up another storage unit. We were at auctions all day, we managed to pick up two units only, almost three, but we did get two. This one looks to have a bunch of good stuff in it. We paid $60 for the unit, so let's hope we can make that back, plus some extra. Without further ado, let's get digging. All right, guys, so let's get digging. First thing first, ugh, we got 30 pound dumbbells. Let's get buff. Ugh, 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 ugh. But I might keep those actually. It's kind of cool. We got fancy cheetah umbrella. You know, I look stylish in a fancy cheetah umbrella. We also got a regular black umbrella. I don't know if umbrellas come in expensive brands. I'm not really sure, but it's a Susino, Susino, heck if I know. That brand. Okay. We have this another bag full of cash, $100 bills. Let's see. Oops. Full of junk, it looks like. What is that brand? Can't really tell, can you? Fry. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fry. Let's see if we got anything inside though. Do the zippers. Nope. Anything inside the regular bag? Another bag. Full of. Um, sometimes a, some type of clipper or clips. All right. Anything else in the bag? Oh wow, an old razor. Talking mm. about flashbacks. Look at that. Who owned this phone as a kid? I know I had a silver razor. I think everyone owned a razor. Me. Do you own a razor? Tell me you owned a razor in the comments before. I had a red one. But guys, that is unfortunately yeah, the charger to the razor's in there too. So maybe we'll charge it up, see what's on the phone when we get home. Two, I'm guessing these are just nice chairs. They look like fold away chairs, which are cool. We could take these, but not really now. This kind of weather, but fishing, flea market, yard sale, that kind of thing, and they're in there, so two chairs. These aren't too expensive. These are like, what, 50, we just bought one, like $15 at Walmart or something. So two of those, stay. Nope. This, another stereo system. We seem to get a lot of stereo equipment in these storage units, but I don't know if this one's gonna be really old, but check out that speaker. And look at that. It's a five disc system right there. I know CD players aren't really the thing no more. They're kind of outdated, but it could still be worth something. We don't know. Guys, I don't know why. It's like 45 degrees outside, but in here, I swear, it's like 95. I don't know why I keep the heat up so high. A nice looking clock of some sort. It's got a tag on it. It's got a price on it. it does not. It's in another language. It's not English. I don't know what that is, but it's got that on it. Nice looking clock though. What is this? I would assume this is on top of the CD players. It's probably gonna be full of CDs. Cassettes. No cassette. Ah, uh, cassettes. Usually there's a sealed one here for True Kings. More than likely, these are all gonna be garbage. There's a couple of rare ones that could be worth some money, but most likely that's probably gonna be trash, unfortunately. Let's hope not. What's in this? Electric City planning or printing. Ooh, bunch of random stuff. Let's see. Every unit also has to always have Holy Bibles. It's in every single one I found so far. I don't think I found a single unit without a Bible. But we usually do return those because I know there's personal to some people. But two Bibles. Nothing to. Ooh, what is that? Oh, never mind. Just donation for the church. But two Bibles. Let's see if we got anything else interesting in here. Bunch of just paper, paperwork it looks like. Uh, other than that, doesn't look like too, too much, but we'll always go through it when we get back. Is that a Blockbuster card? Man, how long is this stuff been sitting here? A Blockbuster membership card, that's antique now. But other than that, there are a bunch of like envelopes and things like of this nature. Like look, let's open a couple, make sure we don't have anything crazy. Cause we have found money in these before. Everyone's like, you're not gonna find money in them. You're not gonna find money in them. We found money in them before. So I will always look, 
senior class of 2008. So this person is four years older than me. Anything in here? No, not that I see. But you never know. We'll go through them all in more detail when we get home and if they have nothing in them, just take them back to the front. We got that. Stay. All right, trying to think of what to go into next. Move the Bibles out the way. Ouch. What do we got in here? That tape looks like it's been ripped open a few times. That's not usually a good sign. Because it wasn't me. Ooh, a baseball glove, a Wilson. That's like brand new. Yeah, that's like a brand new Wilson glove. Those are expensive, aren't they? I don't really know either. I'm not a baseball person. Yeah, it's a nice glove. Yeah, it definitely is. We got some glasses, anything name brand? No, these look like real glasses made in China, so. Made in China usually means junk for price. There's a trophy for best supporting actor play. I don't want to show it, it's got his name on it, but you can see the top of it at least. Best supporting actor play. Stuff like that will get returned, of course. Some weird statues, missing the monkey in the middle. What are all these CDs? Monkey in the middle, Bible experience. Just random religious stuff. Some, is that Red Man? Yeah, Red Man CD, Muddy Waters. And I just dropped one. Lots of random little things in here, so. There could be something of value in there, an old flip phone. Don't really know yet. Like always, guys, we're gonna go through it in detail when we get home. This card's sealed. Holy crap. I oh, know it's not. One of those weird people that open the mail like that instead of ripping the envelope. But, open. Nothing in it, but sometimes I miss it. So, we'll check when we get home, but that box definitely looks interesting. At least this time we got a storage unit that's not 45 minutes to an hour away from home. This one's only like 15 minutes, so it makes it a lot easier. Come back. Let's see what we got. Paperwork. Ugh. Index card, it looks like. A bunch of index cards. Some ABC magnets. Letters. Open letters, though, guys. That's where we found all the money in that one time in the one unit we bought. Just an open letter like that. So a bunch of paperwork in here, too. All we do with the paperwork is we usually take it home, go through everything, make sure there's nothing of value in there, and then just bring it back, because they do take the personal. All right. I guess we should see what's in here. Files. Joy. It looks like just a bunch of random files and paperwork. Again, stuff we'll have to go through later on. Cause you never know. Let me just look in a random envelope. Yeah, nothing. I feel like one of the first times you found a filing box is actually used for files. That doesn't happen very often. All right. What's in the white box? Here. More paperwork. An interesting bag and a wallet. And a phone. Is that an iPhone? That looks like an iPhone of some type, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's pop it out. This is an eight gig iPhone. I don't know which one it is. It just says iPhone on it. The iPhones usually have the number on the back. I'm not sure. But that, nothing in the wallet, unfortunately. Another phone. This looks like iPhone two, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Cool, let's pop these open. If I can get it out. Oops, I just broke the case. Oh, well. Ugh. Come out, you. Dang you. Same thing. It just says iPhone on it. So I don't know what model. I've never owned anything Apple in my life. Because I've never really owned iPod back in the day. So I'm not the person to ask for Apple stuff. What's in here? Ooh, sports cards. It looks like old baseball cards. I don't think those are real signatures or anything, but... Let's get a date on these to see just how old they are. These are from 1982, so maybe if someone knows anything about baseball cards, is there any rares I should look for in a 1982 pack? Because that's pretty old. Yep, lots of family stuff, which will just get returned. 
Uh, let's see, checkbook box. Is it really in there? These are actually envelopes. Random little thing, so. We could have some money on the iPhone. I don't really know how valuable this is. I don't know what model it is. I'm guessing it's older. I'm guessing it's probably 2013. It might be a really old one. It might be a newer one. Not sure as of now. Pocket watch. This says dad on it. Is it a pocket watch or a picture? No, it is a pocket watch. Now, I don't know if it's real silver or not. I'll have to figure that out. What's in this? Ugh. Some glasses. Carolina. Lemke, Berlin. Those look like they could be designers. Anyone heard of that brand? Let me know in the comments too. We'll definitely look at it once we get home. But those are nice looking glasses. A lot of promise in this bag or, or this box right here. It's definitely going to be one we're going to have to dig through in detail. I just don't want to do it on camera because there's also a lot of personal pictures in there. Definitely one we're going to have to dig through. What is this? The thing you put on like a computer chair for your back, it looks like? Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, he graduated high school. Definitely returned that. An old atlas. Certificate of appreciation. Bunch of paperwork. Let's see what this is. In here we got, it's taped up, so who knows. Oops, I should have opened it there. Bunch of random paperwork, but there's a lot of envelopes in here, guys. A lot. So who knows what kind of hidden treasures are hiding in here. Put all this back in here for now. Alright, what do we go to now? This, this is empty. This is brand new. It has a United plane tag on it. It's probably only been used a couple times. I don't even know what brand this is, but it's like basically very new looking. If it's a decent brand, it could be worth something. This one looks like a laptop case. It's definitely not heavy enough to have a laptop in there, I don't think, but could be something else in there. Let's see. Looks like mostly files again. So, check the front pocket too. Mm, yeah, nothing but school supplies, files, things like that. But could be hidden treasures. Like I said, a lot of stuff I don't like to go through on camera, I dig through because it has personal info in it. And I don't like showing nobody's stuff. Is this the wallet I already checked? Yeah, there's nothing in there, unfortunately. Starting to run out of room. I have to take a break here in a second, but what is this? It was 13 inch stepping stool. That can be convenient. I would definitely crush it, but <laughs> for a normal sized person, that would be cool. Could be worth a couple bucks. Oh, this system takes tapes. Wow, cassettes, I mean, that's definitely probably not gonna be worth anything, unfortunately. <laughs> But look at these statues. Those definitely look handcrafted. Look at the bottom here. You can even see where it's like actual wood. This might have been done like actually by hand, not even by machine. Yeah, definitely look at the bottom of that. That definitely looks like it has some age to it. And this one looks a lot better done. But then again, it could be, that is said be weird, but it could be handmade. Definitely feels really smooth though. So I don't know if that one's handmade. Let's see. This is part of the real mystery of why I wanted to buy this unit. Oh man. You know what, I have a bad feeling right now. I hope it's not true, but I hope this isn't full of cassettes. This has a lock on it. Please don't be full of cassettes. Got another Bible, a checkerboard. Uh, whatever this is, let's see. It might just be paperwork again, but we'll see. Looks like a book and paperwork. But, oh, guys. Sure. Toshiba, too. Please have like Windows 7. Can we just have a somewhat updated one? This is Windows XP, but this is the definitely the best condition laptop we've came across yet. It's not cutting on right now, which is kind of expected, but there'll probably be a charger in there, too, and that could be a sweet score. That looks like a nice laptop. Let's see if it has any specs on the bottom of it or anything. Not that I see. Uh, it has a model number. If anyone wants to look up that model number, and let me know value in the comments right there. I was trying to see if it had hard drive size or anything like that, but I don't see anything. But a laptop is a laptop. Cannot complain with that. 
Other than that, guys, oops. I'm knocking stuff all over the place. Another holy Bible. Hey, I saw something in there. What is that? A mailing note, nothing important. Stuff like that again, returned. I'm definitely happy about the laptop. For 60 bucks, even if it's a cheaper laptop, that might be enough to get my money back at least, which I'm fine with. If I break even, even if I lose a little bit, guys, I'm happy just having fun digging and making cool videos. So that's the honest truth. Let's get this thing out the way. Another box. Oop, all kinds of random stuff again. There's a booklet for the computer. I know this is a color television booklet, so I don't know what that's to. A bunch of books and a bunch more random paperwork. As I've always said before, and I'll never stress it enough, never just assume it's crap. Hey, Biggie CD. Glenn Jones. Might have some good CDs in here. Now the rest of them don't look that great, but hey, Biggie. A lot of dust though. Flight attendant. This guy has a flight attendant. Okay. All right. Interesting looking box. It might just be all books, but who knows? This one. Oops. Definitely looks like it's gonna be all clothes, mostly. A pair of glasses. Oh, hold up. Gucci box. Are those Gucci glasses? Are these Gucci? These are Gucci. Look at that. Gucci made in Italy. Wow. These are Gucci glasses. Holy. I'm not going to say it. I don't know about Gucci glasses. I don't know what that's worth, but that's got to be worth the $60 to pay for the unit. If the Ray Ban sold for $50, I sold the Ray, even though they're worth more than that. Gucci glasses got to be worth more than that. That, that could have just saved the day right there. That is sick. All right. Ah, oh, I don't know. I'm still happy. Sorry. That was like on cloud nine just now. Some DC golf balls. We're not quite in DC right now, we're pretty close. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bunch more paperwork. Nothing too crazy that I see right now. Let's see if there's anything in here. Just checkbook. Nothing too crazy, but like I always say guys, we look at everything, let's go through everything in great detail and let you know. What's that? Some type of fancy soap that's never been touched. Ever heard of that brand? God, I'm dripping sweat in here. Any idea what that is? Because I don't have one. Hey, how old is that? <laughs> oh, old Muhammad Ali statue. Or not statue, more like an old action figure, but that has got to be old. Kaiser Chicago on it. I don't see a date on I know a lot of times figures have a date on their foot, but he doesn't. So if that's old, this could be a lot of value here. I might keep that though. I'm a huge, huge bike fan. So honestly, Muhammad Ali stuff, I might keep. Hey, Microsoft Office Home and, Home and Studio 2010. I mean, I know it's not the most up-to-date version, but honestly, Microsoft doesn't change that much from year to year. So I think it's still pretty cool. Keep this out the way. Looks like probably a um, graduation gown if I had to take a guess. An old Wizards jersey and I see a purse. Let's take a guess. Michael Jordan or Gilbert Arenas? Which one's it going to be? It is MJ, Michael Jordan. Oops. Not in that great a condition though, but still, is it authentic? It is a Nike, but like I said, it's pretty beat up, so probably not going to be worth too, too much. What is this purse right here? nine west we found this brand before it's like not cheap but not expensive it's somewhere in the middle make sure nothing inside the paper towels napkins chapstick nothing else too too interesting there's a couple purses in here let's see if we got any good names here i'm starting to learn the brand name of purses as we go this one the sack I don't know who in the heck in the right mind, ugh, right mind would name their company The Sack, but never heard of it. I'm relying on you guys. Let me know in the comments. And this one's got a wallet in it. Ugh. And it has nothing in it really, but some change. This is all foreign currency. <laughs> guys, 
Last time we found foreign currency, we found U.S. currency later on. So you know what? I just got a wee bit excited, not gonna lie. Let me make sure I don't see nothing else in here. Oops, I'm dropping weird foreign coins all over the floor. Doesn't look like it. Nine West shoes as well. Bunch of other random stuff. You know what? At first I was kind of disappointed with this unit. I was like, doesn't have too much in it. I just hope it's interesting enough for a video. But you know what? It's turning out pretty freaking sweet. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really happy with the way it's going. A airbed kit. I wonder if it has the pump and everything in it. Queen size airbed. Could have value. What is this? This has been sitting here the whole time. Squeegee type thing? Yeah. That's what it looks like. This is just a floor mat, I guess. All right. Oops. Let's see what we got in here. This might be all closed, but all closed don't mean bad. Especially when you find Gucci glasses. Yeah, all I see in this one is closed and we'll go through everything and let you know about name brands and things like that once we get it out of here. Let's just check this. Zara or Zara Basic. Never heard of it, but maybe it's worth something. Let's see. Clothes. And looks like more just more clothes, but always gonna be sure. Yeah, this looks like a bunch of clothes, a little belt, visor, nothing exciting in there. Ugh, scoot over. The last one. Some more Nine West stuff in the box this time now. Just a bunch of shirt and some candy hose and things like that, but it is new, so maybe it has some value to it. DSW, I don't think that's really gonna be expensive anything. A hat. It looks like all clothes. So that's just about everything we've gone through. We're gonna have to take all this stuff home, go through it, and then we'll be back and let you know if there's any other hidden treasures. But even if there's not, guys, we did good on this one. But we'll get it home, and then I'll see you then. All right, guys, let's do a grand recap on this. Before I get into it, every time I do a storage unit video, I have people in the comments asking me how much we sell this for, we sell this for. So if anyone is interested in buying any of this stuff that we find in any of the units, just send me an email. The email is on the YouTube page. I'll put it in the description. I'll even pop it up on the screen here. If anyone's interested, just message me with an offer on whatever, and we'll work something out because... I'm getting tired of listing stuff on eBay and them charging me because people are asking 24 seven about buying things. So I'm gonna do it this way. That's what all you gotta do is email me with an offer if you want something and we'll go from there. But let's go through the other stuff we found that was not in the video. We found this whole little collection of Fat Albert figures from the 80s. Now this whole set was going for like 40 some dollars on eBay, which blew my mind. I mean, I knew they were kind of old, but I don't remember the names. I just know Albert, but we have six figures here, a six figure set, and they're all from the same year, so made the assumption it's a set. The Muhammad Ali figure, I cannot find a stamp or like a date anywhere on him, but he definitely looks old and it's definitely a pretty sweet figure. If anyone has an idea of value or year or anything like that, let me know in the comments because I literally searched this guy all over and I usually on the foot on figures and it's not there, so I don't know what year he's from, but definitely looks cool. Now iPhones, there were four iPhones in this unit. No joke, four of them. One of them is a little beat up as you can see. This one's cracked on the back too. This one's in pretty much perfect condition. This one's in pretty much perfect condition. This is where I'm gonna need somebody's help guys. So I Googled the model number on this. This is the iPhone model number A1203. And apparently some of these are super, super valuable because it's one of the first models of the iPhone. So if someone can let me know how I know if this is one of the cheaper ones or the good ones, please let me know because I have no idea. I've seen the same model number for selling as low as $30 and as high as thousands. So I really don't want to let this go unless somebody can let me know in the comments below. But again, the model number is A1203. It's an eight gig, I guess, Gen 1 iPhone. So hopefully somebody lets me know about that. The laptop does work. We have it did not come with a charger in the unit. My brother had a charger that fitted. It's pretty slow and beat up and old, but it does run. But honestly, we'll probably end up selling it to somebody just for parts for like twenty, thirty dollars, something like that, because it literally took us fifteen minutes to connect to the internet. Now we also found a huge, huge bunch of uh, CDs, DVDs, and books. We got twenty-six dollars worth in declutter, worth of books and things like that. But two of the books 
were actually signed. And I didn't have time to look up the price. We've been so busy with storage units, guys. So busy. But we did not have time to look it up. But this one's by Terry E. Ware. In the book, I don't want to suppose his name, is signed by the author right there. So I don't know how much this is worth or if this is a very popular author. So if anyone's heard of him, let me know. But this book is signed. And this one is also signed. Same thing. Two signed books. So I don't really know if the authors are big or anything like that. But somebody in the comments, let me know. Pause it. In the Gucci glasses. I knew they were expensive, but I was not expecting what I found. So at first, I found a pair that was about $200. I was like, sweet, $200 glasses. That is sick. And then I realized those had the leopard type looking print on the frame. When I found the ones that have the gold frame like this plus leopard on the side, they're selling for over $500. So I don't really know what we'll end up getting for these exactly, but that more than paid for this unit and the other unit I bought, plus like doubling both. And we haven't even touched the other unit. We're gonna go through that tomorrow. We also have auctions in the morning tomorrow. We're gonna just keep banging out these storage units, guys. And these three boxes right here, are all full of different jewelry we haven't had a chance to get any of this stuff tested yet that looks like obvious costume jewelry but there's one of them that did not this one like some of these these are not i don't know if these are costume jewelry or not that could be gold chains i'm not sure but we're gonna have to get though i just ordered a little acid test off ebay it should be here in a week until we can test our own jewelry and start relying on pawn shops but also somebody let me know what's supposed to come in this there's a Gucci box, but it's just full of, again, jewelry and things like that. And I haven't tested any of it, like I said. So if some of this is real gold, we could be sitting on a lot of money. If not, still costume jewelry, as you guys have told me before in the comments. can still sell for a decent amount. The Wilson glove is a, actually a custom softball glove. These are going for about $40 or $50 new. I mean, I would consider this new, but just to be safe, I said $20 to $30 for that. But still, pretty much a brand new glove. Now these bags, literally, I did not think nothing of, but I looked up these brands, Kenneth Cole, New York, a laptop case, and the Fry purse. The Fry purses are selling for over a hundred to closer to $200. Now this one is in pretty beat up shape, as you can see. It's not in the best shape, so I guess like $40, maybe 40 or 50, because in good shape, they're going for 150 to 200, but that one is pretty beat up. So if we get 40, 50 dollars for that, I'd be happy. I, I forgot what these were going for exactly, but I just remember it was a decent brand too. And let me tell you all something also that's very, very interesting. So you remember when we were going through the unit, we found a trophy that said like acting something, something about acting, right? And then we found this guy's resume here. And on here, he has acted for a lot of places, including PBS, Disney, and yeah, a bunch of other big name networks. But those are the ones that I think everyone has heard of. I don't know anyone that hasn't heard of PBS and Disney, but this is his pictures on the other side and everything, but he's acted for Disney. I never heard of his name and I'm not giving his name away, but that's cool, a Disney actor storage unit. That's pretty sweet. I didn't think we had anyone like that in our area. But anyway, guys, we definitely made out big on this unit. A lot of cool collectibles, a lot of money. This was definitely the craziest thing I found in the unit. Gucci glasses worth just hundreds. This could also end up being insane. I don't know. Like I said, again, if you know anything about this iPhone and its value, please let me know because I do not know. But if that ends up being worth a lot, that is going to be absolutely insane. The other iPhones are probably just going to go to an eco ATM. But anyway, guys, it's going to be it. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome storage unit videos, dumpster diving videos, all types of treasure hunting videos every single day of the week. And if you want to follow us on our social media, links will be on screen or you can click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. And until next time, peace out.